Hey guys, today we're going to be installing the Monero wallet on Linux Mint. So here we are, the official site for Monero, getmonero.org, and we're going to go ahead and install the Linux binary. So we're just going to click on this over here and let it download for a little bit. It's going to be pretty quick because it's not very big. And almost there, there we go, we've got it. So we're just going to open this up with a graphical archive manager. You could use the command line if you prefer. Um, either way is fine. So we're just opening this up in Archive Manager. It takes a second to unpack it here and just show us what's inside it. And from here, we're just going to open up my home directory. And I'm just going to copy this directory into my home directory the same way as if I had uh, kind of just unpacked this from the command line. So it's extracting here. It only takes a second, not too long. But there we go, almost there. I'm going to clean up some of these extra things I have running on my desktop. And there we go, we've got it installed. We're gonna go ahead and kill this thing and jump into the directory that I copied it into. And here it is. You can see it has Monero D, the Monero daemon. You get a PDF and a wallet GUI file. That's the actual binary for the wallet. Let's check this one. See, it has this nice PDF. Tells us everything we might wanna know about Monero and the Monero GUI wallet. So let's just open up the actual GUI. So here we go. Desktop entry, would you like to register Monero desktop entry? Yes, probably didn't need that. Anyways, <clears throat> uh, let's kill this thing, this other thing in the background here, and let's just continue. Now, we're going to go with simple mode for now, but uh, actually bootstrap, Let, let's do bootstrap. So this is going to, you know, easy sending and receiving, etc. but it gives you the blockchain downloaded. Uh, you know what? I think I'm going to avoid the blockchain because I think with Monero, it's pretty big. With PeerCoin, it was small. It was like a little over a gig. With Monero, I believe it's supposed to be 250 gigs. Uh, I'm not doing portable mode. And yeah, simple mode. So no blockchain because it's a little bit big and just not what I want to do for this demo. But if you want the blockchain and the added security, you could go with that. Now just click, click the checkbox, hit next. And here we go. We can create a new wallet which we're going to do. Uh, we have a few different options here. Open a wallet, create one from hardware, etc. Let's just go ahead and create a new wallet and give it a unique name. So I'm just going to add user one dash wallet one, not, not too creative. Now it gives us this recovery phrase. Now this recovery phrase, don't let anyone see this. Anyone who has this recovery phrase can recover your, your wallet and basically access any funds in your wallet. Basically, if you have the recovery phrase, you have full control over the wallet. So keep it secret. Now, um, here after it gave us the recovery phrase, it makes us type in a few of the words from the recovery phrase just to verify that we had them right. So here I am going back and forth, like kind of hoping I don't have to actually type them in. Um, I do have to type them in. So I eventually, so I ended up taking a picture of these and now I'm going to go ahead and fill in these keys just to verify that I do in fact have it. Because if you don't have this saved, you're not going to be able to regenerate these or see it again. Um, if you put money in your wallet and you don't have these and lose your wallet, it, it's gone for good. So yeah, if it just makes you, just for safety, it makes you verify that you did in fact, makes you do this to verify that you did in fact record them to keep them safe. Now you're all, you can also put a, wall, a password in here <clears throat> to keep your wallet secure. Now that seed phrase that we put in before, um, I'm sharing that on this video. So anyone watching this video has that seed phrase and has access to this wallet that I'm setting up here. So obviously this is more like our wallet. Everybody watching this video, everyone here has uh, access to it. So don't put money in here unless you want someone else to have that money. Um, I'm not going to be using this as my actual real production wallet. I'm not putting any of my Monero in this wallet. So I have a pretty reasonably strong password, but I kind of wanted to, I guess this has a higher standard and I wanted this to show up as a, a strong password. So I kind of just made, a, made up a stronger password here, kind of made it up as I went along uh, for this wallet installation. So I went in here, I think I mistyped it a few times, but eventually got this in. So moving right, right along here, we're just gonna go ahead and actually create the wallet. And it shows, you see here, a wallet path, shows us right where it's creating the wallet in case we want access to that file. We wanna back it up, copy it, whatever else. Enter the wallet password for my specific wallet. 
So with this password, you should be able to, if you copy this, this wallet file somewhere else, you should be able to import it using your password. And if you don't want to import that, if you don't want to keep that actual file, you should be able to regenerate the wallet with the seed phrase if you want. So anyways, this is what our send tab looks like. Um, you know, you can send Monero to people if you want. You can see we still have our blockchain. You know, I don't know why. All right, Daemon is synchronizing. We, we still have to synchronize with the Daemon. We're not really downloading the blockchain though, because I would take forever because it's relatively large, not as large as Bitcoin. Anyways, let's take a look here. Yeah, let's clear what we have on the screen here and let, let's just take a look. So CD into the Monero GUI and you see all of our files here. Um, that's just the, the software that we unpacked. So I'm going to take a look and see what we have. All right. Looks like also we have a Monero GUI that's showing up right here in our menu. J just to check that while I was thinking of it. So anyways, we're, we're going to check this Monero directory and inside we have wallets and user one wallet one that's the wallet we created together with the keys so right there those files that's our wallet inside this directory so now we're just going to go ahead and poke around here and you can see accounts total balance a uh, total unlocked balance uh, primary account you can create a new account if you want to go along with this and you can see send addresses you could save you know recipients and stuff like that you have a whole address book you can add addresses to um, you can receive stuff here someone could scan this if they wanted to pretty standard normal stuff transactions we don't have any obviously because we haven't we don't even have any monero we haven't sent anything you could lock the wallet if you want to um, you could create a view only wallet. you a bunch of different things here show seeds and keys etc um all this terrific stuff right interface you have a bunch of different options you could select if you want to tweak anything for this um and change the theme um nothing too exciting here that i really want to mess around with um yeah that's uh yeah anyway there, there's that anyways there's the log we can see the log for the daemon that's running you can see the gui version and it shows us the wallet path and the wallet log path in case you want to check the logs manually and and all that good stuff so anyways you can also go over here if you want to open a wallet you can create a new one or open a wallet so let's try opening this wallet so you'll click on open type in our password for this wallet just kind of demonstrating how you can open a wallet if you feel like it get my nice long password here that i'm not used to using and there we go open to wallet so so over here, I'm going to show you how you can go ahead and close this and clean everything up, remove the files. So there were some extra files that were installed. So once we shut down the wallet, it's going to shut down the daemon. We're going to go and delete some of these files. And there, there's a little bit more than you would expect, but you, you'll see. So RMRF, the Monero directory, so that's, that's going to, that just removed the wallet and everything in it. And there, I just removed the directory that I had unpacked and installed it into. So the, the versioned directory right there remove that and I cut away here really quick and open a new terminal so there are a few more things to remove besides the obvious data directory and the versioned directory for our software so right here I check there is a dot bit Monero directory RMRF remove that directory and I'm just checking to see what's running nothing Monero related running um, just check that with PSEF so now we're going to go ahead and just, so I'm just checking what's in the current directory. There's going to be nothing obvious in the config directory. And actually, actually there is, there's something in the con dot config Monero project directory. And then there's a Monero core conf file. So uh, I'm going to remove that as well. So you said it's a config directory. I guess they keep the config separate from the data directory. Anyways, remove that directory. And there's one more thing here. So I'm going to do a find and just grep for Monero from my home directory. There shouldn't be anything outside my home directory, but yeah, it looks like in here we have the downloaded uh, archive and then we have this desktop file right here, which I told it to create. Shouldn't be a surprise, but I'm going to go ahead and delete that as well. 
So there we go. That's gone. I'm saving the downloaded archive just in case. I don't you see that as part of the cleanup. Anyways, that's it. That's how we clean up the Monero wallet. Now, if you found this video interesting, you might want to give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment down below if I left anything out or I missed anything. And you're going to want to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss out on our other great videos. We're doing more crypto stuff, maybe some more Monero stuff, definitely a lot of Linux stuff. We're doing hardware, software, all that great stuff. So make sure you're subscribed. But as always, thanks for watching. We'll see you guys on that next video.